Well, hello everybody on YouTube. We're still waiting for our Twitch to connect. So um, while we're waiting for that, I'll say hello to everybody. Good morning um, or good afternoon for those of you in Europe. Uh, it is 9 a.m. where I am. And I love that Twitch is totally messed up right now. Let's see here. <clears throat> so. Give me one moment, please. Canada in the building, very nice. We'll always wait our first little five or ten minutes here to get everybody in. Video download download was canceled. Let's see. We're going to get started in uh, about five minutes here. And if for some reason uh, Twitch doesn't work, we can always just stay here on YouTube. And I think that would be fine. Man, that's a bummer because I told people that we were going to be doing Twitch this week. It says that when the bitrate is too high for Twitch. Okay, that's a good pro tip right there. Let me reduce it. You guys with the pro tips always. Um, so this week we're going to be doing a dual stream for a while. Um, we're going to try it out this week, and the plan is going forward. Because of the way that YouTube handles uploads and live streams, like after you do a live stream, it automatically publishes. But um, it oftentimes those published live streams don't get the same level of like traction. Um, it like classifies them as a different kind of video. It's not like a regular upload. So I think what we're going to do is continue to stream on YouTube, so that will never change for the time being at least, um, until I change my mind. <laughs> we'll live stream on both YouTube and Twitch. And um, afterwards, the YouTube live stream will not be published as a video, but the recording of the live stream will be published as a video. So that we'll get kind of the best of both worlds. 6,000 is good for Twitch. All right, let's try 6K. I don't really want to use 6K because I like going a little higher. But we'll test this out. We'll see if this uh, person in the chat is highly knowledgeable. Big brain level. Yeah, it's crazy. My streaming monitor is good. I wish, uh, I wish there was a way in Restream to... I wish there was a way to um, change the bitrate to different channels. So I'm going to try to refresh on Twitch. Let's see if we got it yet. Video download was canceled. Yeah, it's so crazy. Well, it was worth a shot. I'll try for a few more minutes here, and if I cannot get Twitch rocking, then... Uh, Yeah, I switched it down to 6,000. Twitch error, 1,000. Let me see here. Today we're going to continue our time code 
from uh, last week. We're getting close. I got about halfway through it, and uh, we're hitting our stride. Delete Twitch cookies. Hmm. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I think what we'll do, I'll cancel Twitch for now. I'll leave it up. Well, no, I'm not going to leave it up because I want to stream at a higher bit rate on YouTube. So um, if you guys wouldn't mind, we'll get that sorted for tomorrow over on Twitch. And we'll continue doing this for the rest of the week. But um, if you could head over uh, to Twitch and just give me a follow, I guess. We'll continue doing YouTube um, live streams indefinitely. Like, we'll still be here. But uh, the, if you want to watch them um, live, I think the experience is better on Twitch for both me and you. Um, and then the videos will, of course, be uploaded on YouTube later because I'm also recording them. So, okay, I'll turn off Twitch. And then I got to delete my post about that because it'd be kind of cringe, right? Don't want people to think I'm on, uh, on Twitch when I'm not. Cringe. Cringe tier. Take another, say hi, everybody. Take a picture of my stream key. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> so, how's everybody doing? Good afternoon, good evening. Twitch works now? Wait, what? Crazy. Is it really working? Hey, it's working. Whoa. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. Right after I deleted my post. <laughs> like, literally no less than a few seconds afterwards. Um, I'm also trying something. A lot of people were complaining about the, the noise gate that I have on the mic. See how it's completely silent and then only when I talk. Yeah. <laughs> so um, what I'm trying, and let me know if this is weird, because I, I can't monitor this right now. Um, I also have this other mic turned on for ambience. Just at a very low level. So that there's there's no... And if for whatever reason I come over here... I can just use this one. Sweet. Wow, I'm so excited that Twitch is working. Ooh, I did a lot of hard work to fix it, so appreciate you guys hanging out. Wait, now I gotta take another. Oh my gosh, you guys, should I just use a generic photo? Um, uh, yeah, I'm using a generic photo. <laughs> Let's see if, if I get in under the 10 minute mark. What time is it right now? Oh, we just passed 10 minutes. Okay. I try not to do any more crap at the beginning of the stream. Now the gate sound, the, the you don't understand. Trust me. It sounds awful if I take the gate off of this. If you want to hear my lips move. See how it just barely triggers the gate? If you really want to hear my lips move, then I don't know what to tell you. I don't want to I don't want to broadcast the sound of my lip movement when I'm not talking. Twitch.tv slash Christian Jackson five twelve.
great. Great, great, great. So thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for all of the support recently on uh, both YouTube and on Twitch now. We're getting a lot of followers. Heido Volts, Herman12, Reese, Lassie Basti, thank you so much for the follows. Appreciate it. Uh, last week the streams went really well, I think. And we're going to continue that this week. And hopefully I don't miss any days. <laughs> so let's hop over uh, into MA2 and Capture. Ignore my emails from usedlighting.com. And let's just kind of see what we've what we've got so far. Um, if you guys haven't seen yet, we do have our new waveform appreciation bar here. So you should be able to see it. What headset is that? It's a DPA 4188. You guys should be able to hear it. Let me make sure. Yeah, it looks like you guys can hear this. Um, I do have some of the settings turned down uh, for maximum performance in capture. Um, just because this poor desktop computer is being absolutely throttled. Because <laughs> it's got to deal with like six HDMI inputs. Right as a diesel truck pulls up outside. Okay, that's really as far as we've got. I'm 13, I'm the only one. No, I think about two thirds of the people in this chat Probably two-thirds of the people in the chat are between the ages of 11 and 17, if I were to guess. There are a lot of you out there. Let's just put it that way. So, I know I say this every stream, but for people in the chat who say that the the sync between the video and the audio on this portion is slightly off. I promise you that the way it looks to me in person is spot on. And I can't go through and time align the three different computers that are all talking to each other because the delay is inconsistent with NDI. So one day it'll be 10 milliseconds. The next day it'll be 25. The next day it'll be 50. The next day it'll be almost instantaneous, like literally five milliseconds. So I can't go through and tune every single device every single day that I stream. So um, yeah, just trust me when I say that the timing, I will take care of the timing on this end. <laughs> um, we'll just worry about the programming and the, uh, the actual technical side of things for now. And then uh, when I encode it, and when I uh, when I upload the full video of the rendering, you'll see that it's it's all in time. I know it's annoying, but just trust me. Okay, so let's hop right back into it. Um, I am going to, for the most part. 
ignore chat. I'm sorry, I have to. We'll take breaks every hour at the top of the hour. But I really want to get done with this so that we can move on to some other songs in the future. Do you guys want to hear this diesel truck out here? That's why I have the gate. Yeah, when we render this out with all the people like jumping in the audience and the camera movements, it's going to be super sick. figure out something for the fake out drop. Okay, so that filter up part. Uh, let's see. I'm debating. So let me just show you what these couple buttons are doing here. So there are a couple of snares that are for these washes. But I'm thinking of turning them, um, making them basically just still two buttons. But the way they are right now, you can't really tell there's no point in splitting them up. See where the snares hit? Like, yeah, it's every other. But I just don't know if it's noticeable enough to really matter. The anti-Becky filter. Yeah, yesterday we had, not yesterday, um, last stream we had some coronavirus people outside sharing the virus between each other with very Becky like Becky and Karen it's the Becky and Karen suppressor Filter, okay. All right, now the diesel truck is gone. Oh, thank you, uh, Cameron Arnold, Dim Spirale, Robert Hall Art, Slow Mo Lives for the, uh, the follows on Twitch. Appreciate it. Like I said, YouTube streaming is not going to be affected by this, but um, with the new way we're going to be doing it, we'll be doing live streams on both YouTube and on Twitch simultaneously, because apparently now that works with a lower bitrate. 
I'm gonna figure out something for higher bit rates maybe. Um, and then only YouTube will get a full upload in higher quality because I'm also recording the stream in higher bit rate. So the recording's gonna be the highest quality, so that'll be uploaded as a video later. And if you don't wanna stick around and watch every little part of me programming this, I'm going to upload kind of a play-by-play -play after we finish the song. So I need to figure out something for that fill. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see. So the timing's actually pretty right. Yeah, YouTube is gonna have more familiar chat faces. That's the whole reason why I'm splitting it up and doing it at the same time, so that you guys can still get all of the YouTube notifications. And it, for people who are used to watching it the way they're used to watching it, nothing will change. Um, the only difference is you'll actually get a notification when the, the video recording goes up. This part is hard. So I think on this break wind down, I need to let's do group one plus two. Oh, I'm in a world. Store 31 for store Q31. And then I think if we. Actually, I kind of like that negative space there. Maybe I can fill it in with some. I'll just do some uh, JDC strobe hits. <laughs> Put a camera on a beam and I want to see the video from the camera. I have a full, like, a almost a full set's worth of camera recorded from the uh, the light. Thanks for posting the Twitch link, Elliot. Appreciate it. It's hard for me to keep up with chat when I'm doing all this here. Yeah, thanks to everyone for joining in. If you've never, if you've never seen anything like this before, um, essentially I'm programming an imaginary stage that is meant to be uh, the, the proper method is, is called cloning. It is meant, uh, what I'm doing right now is meant to be able to be transferred to many other stages in the world. So when we go and do shows, we can um, show up with this show file that I'm working on. And I don't have to program a lot of stuff on the fly. I can instead so I wipe left. Uh, I'm gonna turn that. Move one event. Each one of these things I'm moving in here, these are time code events. Each one of them exists at exactly one frame in time. There's 30 frames in a in a simpty time frame. And these are all just button presses essentially that I'm recording.
Yeah, I would like to do another... Uh, upload it in real time, not as a time lapse. Man, that's going to... I mean, it'll be more like a... More like a 10-minute, 15-minute overview where I stop every section and kind of talk about it. So if I do, uh, maybe these hit buttons that I haven't programmed yet. What I think I'm actually going to do here, I'm going to move these three hit buttons over here. And instead of, uh, I don't know what I want to do. Okay, so I'm going to store all of them at full. These are the strobes, the JDC uh, strobe section. If I store merge those and then copy this sequence. Oops. What? That was weird. <laughs> it was giving me a merge, a merge warning, even though there was nothing there. The exec executor was empty. I can now assign a world to these. So I can do assign. Let me just check here. So I'm I'm calling these worlds to check and see. Hmm. So B doesn't have any of the strobes. This is the upstage, or sorry, downstage. Really? Okay, so what I'm gonna do I'm going to first remove all the strobes, and I'm going to redo these worlds for a minute. Uh, so I'll remove that from A world, B world, C world, and D world. And now I can just restore them. Yeah. And now since I assigned those worlds, it kind of filters them out. What did I do for the last? If I wanted to make it easy, I would just do random strobes. Yeah, 
And I think I'm actually going to do that. Don't be mad. The footage is the footage from Sasquatch. Uh, actually, I did put a, a GoPro up in one of the uh, scaffolding pieces. Um, but I didn't put one on a light. That didn't happen until... Yeah, I think uh, I'm gonna, as much as it hurts me to do it, I'm gonna delete these. And um, delete this. Assign world one. Overwrite it. Um, let's, maybe we can do something with the tubes because the tubes have like a little more sparkly. Watching this makes me anxious for tomorrow. I'll be picking up an MA2 command wing. Karate Pajamas says on Twitch, yeah, you'll be fine. No need to be anxious. Just like always, like I say, keep it simple. And you'll be fine. Neared Lands, hello. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Out Dream Creative, thank you for the comment. Your streams and videos are amazing. You've been very inspiring. Awesome. That's the whole goal. I just want to inspire you guys to to get out there and figure this stuff out and realize there's a whole uh there's a whole world out there of awesome gigs that you can participate in. Um, keep in mind what you're seeing on the capture screen right now. This is um, this is more of a uh, it's just a representation, right? So you can't ever know for sure what things look like in real look like in real life. So I'm relying on the fact that I know that these JDC tubes are super bright, um, and I also have the throws light option turned off in capture because if I didn't well I guess let's let's just show you real quick so if I grab all of the JDC's and uh, let me go to our options here if I turn throws light to yes <laughs> whoops I almost messed that up. Well, not almost. I did mess it up. Then you can see we get a much more animated, lively, volumetric look. But for programming, it really taxes the system because Capture has to render the light output and the shadows cast from every single pixel and each one of those JDCs has 12 of them in the middle for that white tube. So I turn them off and then when I do the final rendering we will we'll actually render it out with full um, full rendering settings. Also, before I forget, um, we're working on a fundraiser for everybody who has been affected by our recent situation. Um, I'm going to be donating some money. Uh, we haven't decided exactly how we're going to be donating and providing like relief funds for people who have lost their lost their jobs recently, but um, I think we might end up just doing the donation to the Live Nation Crew Nation fundraiser. Um, it's basically like a big fund where people can apply for, for aid if they've lost gigs. Um, but that's uh, kind of on the, the other end of things. If, um, if you have any lighting fixtures and you're in the United States, United States only, um, and you would like to donate i.e. give them to us to raffle off in sort of a competition. So essentially, 
if you wanted to donate to this uh, this event that we're we're doing. It's a virtual event. We'll be streaming it. Um, you can quote unquote buy tickets. This I'm being very vague because the details haven't been solidified completely. Um, but we are looking for old fixtures that are obsolete, that are <laughs> kind of iconic or funny. You know, think like old VL 3000s that, you know, are completely destroyed already. Stuff that is trashed. It's really heavy. <laughs> and that if you show up on a show site and you see it, you're actually like upset because you don't want to deal with it. Um, if you have any of those type of fixtures, like old Atomics, stuff that's broken, but still like funny and cool, um, if you could send me an email, that would be great. You've got this old Stelos. <laughs> yeah, if you could send me all of your, your Stelos inventory, that would be great. So I went back to the beginning. Daft91, I follow every one of your videos from France. Thank you for giving me motivation. That's awesome to hear. That's the that's the goal. Okay, so here on this fade up section, I am actually going to take the spots to 100. Um, the reason being, and um, if you saw the other video, you would know that if you use an individual fade time, that will no matter what is in your fade time over here if you store an individual fade time first of all it will take it'll change the background to green a dark green to indicate that there is an individual fade time obviously ma can't show you every single individual fade time for every fixture so Let's do our spots. Um, I could also just open a smart window so I stop having to go back here. Uh, let's see. Oops. Sorry, you guys can't see. My bad. I need to hire a director. Notice for the second drop, um, I added a few more different things so it's not the same as the first drop, like the very fast Viper Gobo rotation. So for this section, I also want to do the same, like, see how all the beams are moving up and down really slowly like that? I'm going to do the same thing with the spots except in the opposite direction. So I copy. Flower bloom opposite. You can edit this and take our selection. And then a couple ways you can do this. I tend to just 
swap values. And that works pretty well for me. I also want to do a different gobo because while this one is cool, we've used it for almost 45 seconds and that's unacceptable. Uh, let's do, yeah. Who, who can tell me what the name of this gobo is? No cheating. The actual name of the gobo, the Martin gobo. This one's an easy one. You should be able to. That's not Ray Brush, Dan. Come on, dude. Oh, wait, I guess you guys can't really see the... Uh... Okay, that was not fair. I didn't notice... I didn't know that you could uh, not see. I have, I have the waveform up on the screen. <laughs> Let me... Oh, man. I'm a jerk. Let me tilt this down for you. Tiger King? No, this is uh, <laughs> yeah. Carol Baskin is an LD. Bad music. Oh man. Don't worry, we'll be doing some different genre songs next week. With with worship songs? Yeah. <laughs> That's a good idea. Actually, that would be kind of fun. That gobo is called uh, Bite Me, if I'm not mistaken. Let me double check. I'm pretty sure I'm right. Bones. Dang it, Bite Me is uh, Big Bones. Where is Bite Me? Or Bite It? Bite It was the one that I had previously. Big Bones. Man, I made myself look like a fool. Deformed Sheep Silhouette. <laughs> yeah, metal songs are on the list. That's I'm thinking next week we'll do a, a metal track. Some like really interesting time signature stuff. The orange one. <laughs> it's so stupid. Okay, this part I need to add some light, some special light. And again, we'll do our dim time of like 0.2, store 35. <laughs> Christian Jackson Song of Praise edition, yeah. I mean, churches have some of the craziest budgets. Those mega churches. Oh, 
Oh my god, sorry, I clicked the wrong. I need to set up my hot cues in Reaper. Or figure out a way to get Reaper to, uh... I don't like how, I mean, I guess I could add another gobo and do like some morphing stuff. If we did. Yeah, I kind of dig that. The fade from side to side is a set of bitmaps. Just a pair of bitmaps. Nothing crazy. Where does it actually... Yeah, the colors will be switched for this. Um, this part is going to be more like uh, neon. I'll show you. Need to store 36.5. I'm gonna change this to two separate queues. And they need different timings, of course. So instead of actually going through and time coding it with hitting a button press, I'm just gonna go to, go to our text layer or our text view of this time code pool. And after 36, I'm going to add 36.5 and then just toss it about where I think it goes. It looks good. So in that 36.5, we'll take the LEDs out, bring the strobes to full, or at 50, because they're going to honestly blow out the rest of the show. Store 36.5, and then don't forget to dim them out in the build queue that follows. So is needs to come a little bit sooner. Thirty six point five. Just like three frames sooner. Oops. Three seven. Yeah, I did end up multi-streaming. It worked. Thank you for the follow, Jason. Pulse Event Rentals. Ugh. <sighs> Mm 
This is a good question from Nathan. How does Simpty work for a dynamic set where the artist might make some changes on the fly? Are time codes unique frames across tracks so that if they jump around, you can still get the cues triggered? Yep. That's basically it. You uh, you pretty much said it all. The only thing is um, if they actually change the, the contents of the track itself, then you're kind of screwed. Um, but if they just rearrange the order that the set is played in, they can do like effects and they can use hot cues and stuff all they want. Um, the show will keep up. Suppose we could do... ABC. Yeah, that might be cool. Although I'm going to turn off these guys, right? Oh my goodness. I love it when there's like no internet. Oh my god. That one I don't know. I think that was my ISP because I uh the router stopped receiving or the um the modem stopped receiving and sending. We good? We back? Yeah, looks like we're back. Hello again. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, that's weird. Restream. I think that might have been either restream or... My ISP's fault. I think it might have been Restream. Advice for bigger shows? Keep it simple. <laughs> That's my number one advice. What I'm doing here is overly complex just to illustrate some principles of time coding. And these got messed up. So I'm just going to overwrite them and we'll make them manually I want to make sure that we don't miss anything usually I would just uh, grab my area groups like A, B, C, D oh I gotta refresh my studio chat There we go. Now I got the stream again. All right, it looks like the stream is fine now. Pretty cool. And now I can, oh, this is gonna be awesome because now I can edit the video recording and upload like more detailed videos and like zoom in on different sections. Okay. Bop, 
pa pa. Uh, then some LED. Sorry, I'm a noob, but how do you program a stage that isn't there? Like, I mean, do you have stage setup or is it preset in some way? Yeah, you've got it figured out. So it's it's basically a template stage that has a, a basic selection of lights that you would see on any stage. And um, I program them virtually in this software, Capture, so I can see what the virtual stage is doing, and then we can apply that to real stages. Pretty cool. So now I'm going to go in here and clean up our timecode events. It's awesome to see all you guys hanging out in the chat. Appreciate it a lot. See a lot of people talking about them doing their own previs shows. It's awesome to see. I really hope in MA3 there will be a way to overlay a waveform of the audio onto like maybe the background of these tracks. <laughs> have I ever tried sound switch? No, but I thought about making a video about you know like they have those um those clickbaity YouTube videos where it's like hundred dollar peanut butter and jelly versus 36 cent peanut butter and jelly i thought it'd be funny to make one like that for light shows and now i actually have the time to do it <laughs> this is stupid all right let's see if we're getting any closer Does MA control kinetic systems? Only if they are DMX enabled. Um, MA is pretty limited in the number of non-lighting protocols it can speak. I almost don't want that last one in there. So now let's uh, figure out a good position for these washi boys because we've 
Oh, we've kind of exhausted all of their usefulness right here. I think maybe if we do them, I don't quite want to do. No. 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 Maybe. The lighting desk, however, can send cues to like kinesis, kinesis. Hmm. Maybe we'll just do straight out. There's really nothing wrong with straight out position. I know people are like afraid to use it. Maybe I'll do like low. <laughs> yeah, I control the intensity and the color of the spheres through the console and their position. So I'm actually going to, oops, got, got to not be in a world to do that. I'm going to get rid of, so the problem is if I reuse the same buttons later, I can't change these buttons and then have them retroactively not <laughs> in the previous time code when they get fired previously fire so i need to remove the this is but luckily i did have them in the main queue list so i can delete these without it really affecting anything with the exception apparently being that Let's see here. This is. I'm going to remove the beams. And instead, I'm going to. reposition them. Why not copy them to Surface 2 for more executors? Because I already have a main, it's already recorded in the main sequence for this section. I don't need to copy it, but yeah. Okay, we're at one full hour. Are there any specific questions? 
Um, I'm just going to scroll through the chat here. And then, uh, sorry to remind everybody, but um, this is, we're going to continue streaming on YouTube for the foreseeable future, but we will also be streaming on Twitch, and then Twitch will be more where I do kind of like random streams. Um, a lot of times when I'm just kind of up late at night working, I'll turn on the stream and maybe not talk or interact or do anything, but if you want to check out, you know, random streams, you can follow me over there and you'll get notified. Um YouTube, we will keep working as a stream source, but um, in the future, only the recordings will be uploaded for you to watch later. So eventually we'll have the chat recorded on a separate layer, and we can overlay that onto the YouTube upload. Do you want to LD on Tomorrowland? Sure, who wouldn't? <laughs> I don't I don't understand. Of course. Like who would like no? No, it sounds awful. Do you want a million dollars? Would you recommend capture and vectorworks or dropping the big bucks on wig? That depends. Um uh, depends on what size of shows you're doing. If you're doing a lot of big shows, I would say um I would say wig just because you get the parameters in MA2. Current render settings on capture are at the at absolute lowest, the lowest settings I can. Only reason being that we're encoding and sending a bunch of video signals everywhere, so it's kind of um, kind of intense on this poor desktop. Where do I find the Q editor? If you hit edit and then tap a Q. there. The biggest show I've done, um, depends on what you mean by biggest, like number of fixtures, number of people, the physical size of the stage. This is just for fun. This isn't for any particular show. This is just a template stage for fun. Nobody has any gigs right now. <laughs> Do I like baked beans? Overflow asks on YouTube. No, not really. Have I ever made have I ever made a video going over how I program and run lights for smaller busking shows? Not specifically. It's more like a personal thing. I mean, I could, but you know, no events till the first of September in the Netherlands. So that's crazy. I'm thinking it'll be probably about about the same here too. People keep pushing everything back. Number of people is probably one of the EDC shows that I have done. I was just the house, or not the house LD, but the uh, touring LD. I worked with a couple of different artists at a couple different EDC stages. That's probably that's probably the biggest. But would you use this show for this song if played live? Yep. Are you an official MA3 beta tester? Nope. I'm not cool enough. I'm, uh, I don't really, it doesn't really <laughs> matter to me. I'm, uh, I'd rather use the software when it's, like, actually done. Beta testing is, like, is not as glamorous as it sounds. Take a few more questions and we'll get back into programming. How do I cope with missing live shows? I'm doing very well. I uh, I don't particularly like being around a lot of people anyways. I miss being around my friends and I miss doing cool shows, but 
like being like actually out in the shows around a bunch of people, I'm fine. If I have a command wing to do small shows but want to expand on PC, should I get a fader wing attachment or, or an NPU? What is the better value, do you think, for small gigs? Get the fader wing. As long as you're not going to be going over 4,096 parameters, eight full universes, then just get the fader wing. Don't worry about the NPU. All right, guys, don't want to bore you guys with too many questions, so we'll get right back into it. Again, remember, this will be recorded if you can't watch the whole thing, and uh, the links in the description will take you over to Twitch, where you can follow me if you're on YouTube right now. And if you are on Twitch right now, it would be awesome if you could uh, follow me and get notified for when we do live streams. We'll be doing both Twitch and YouTube for the foreseeable. But we'll start to uh, start to do more more stuff on Twitch. Okay, so see, so we need to update. Okay. Um, this guy I'm gonna to want to have inward, I believe. Let's take a look here. Because technically in this section, the only parts that it, dang, I like that though. Let's see. Although it does look kind of like an X, and I don't really. Should we go lazy mode? Sometimes sometimes lazy mode is cool. And it's not really even lazy mode, it's just different mode. Why is it doing that? This is...
Thanks for the kind words, Matthew. That means a lot, man. Thank you. Hope you're doing well. Where's that JDC hit? Okay, I don't want the JDCs on there anymore. Remove. Get in the habit of removing stuff rather than just like changing the value. I might even take the beams or the spots out of this. Uh, remove. So this part, mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. attach a dimmer to a flamethrower. Can you even get real flamethrowers like with the jelly gasoline or whatever it is? Or is it all like fake flamethrowers where they're like propane powered? My avatar is very fitting. Did I study at some institute? No, I dropped out of college. I'm not sure if that last hit actually hits or not. <laughs> like if it's supposed to. Maybe it's just a little too short and it looks weird. Oops. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And then maybe we can have, this will be cool. So we can do another drum fill. Move this. And then change the colors because I think it kind of got messed up. Yeah. Yeah, I think most of the pyro stuff, or the, uh, fake flamethrowers or whatever like flamethrowers are <laughs> a more specific I guess thing than just a propane flame on the end of a gun thing I think flamethrowers they're supposed to like shoot jellied gasoline not like the kerosene or you know Yeah, pan tilt controlled flamethrower. What could go wrong? Like a combination of FPS Russia and my channel.
Oh, that is not dark magenta. We gotta be sneaky with our specials here. So I think if, because these are color mix, they're not LED. Um, and usually specials are color mix and not LED. Or sorry, um, subtractive instead of LED. Subtractive instead of additive. My God. I'm going to uh, behave as if they will always be subtractive and, you know, do the time on the color changes accordingly. Because you can't instantly color change a lot of, um, a lot of profile fixtures. So to do that, uh, I'm going to turn off the back and front light here, I think. Let me think about this for a second. So I think on the is, we'll do the white from the sides with obviously maximum strobe. And then we'll keep this kind of uh, active as side light. Then these will dim out at the break. Oops. And we can do this. Ah. See what I mean about the color flags? So I'll need to go and First of all, remove that from break. Just the color. And then we will go back. And what we can do, if I pull up a tracking sheet, which actually I should have. No, that's on my full size view. Shit, there's helicopters outside. <clears throat> Is this a party slash event or just for fun? <laughs> I don't know how many times I'm going to answer that question today. This is just for fun. There ain't no events. No shows.
Mark, thank you for the five RON. I don't know what RON is, but thank you. <laughs> I need to wear a party hat so everyone knows it's just for fun. It's like, yeah, it's like one of the little tri or a cone shaped hats, yeah, with a tassel. <laughs> That's awesome. So let's see, it would be under sequence tracking. We can look at our color. Which we can see goes to indigo on break. We don't want that. Let me see here. Front and rear. So I went from red to open there. Or no, it's still technically red there. So I need to change it in Q36. So now... Save show, <laughs> as always. Yeah, I'm not getting swatted yet. Need me to make you some stream overlays? I, I'm i supposed to have someone already working on it, but they're kind of not responding to me, but kind of already ask them to. Just kind of waiting on that. They who shall not be named. Aloha from Hawaii. What's up, Felix? Or what? No, you're from... Who's saying aloha? Anyways, aloha. See that? There was a small little That's weird. Sometimes it shows, sometimes it doesn't. What's up, boys? What's up, everybody? I 
Could you make a macro to autosave every five minutes instead of 15 minutes in setup? I guess you could, but you'd have to leave the macro running and looping. And I don't really like doing that. It's not really a fan of looping macros that never turn off. I think we might go back to old reliable for this drop, meaning pan tail circle, wings negative two. Why am I not getting an actual circle? Oh, I am. Alfie, I have a question for you. Why don't you or anyone respond to my comments in vids? I am responding to you right now. I mean, there's like literally hundreds of, of comments. You can't expect me to get to every single one. I'm sorry. Uh Oh whoops. Might do something a little more time consuming <laughs> here. Because if I do each section maybe as a different phase. Let me try let me try something here. First of all, I need to to properly see this. I need to have it in a straight position. Now, if I create a template effect, do uh, like template circle. What's the cheapest way to do a light show? <laughs> Candle? I don't know. 
if you're asking for DMX, the cheapest way is uh, Magic Q Campsys. It provides 64 universes of Artnet output for free. If you're asking for control. And they have a built-in visualizer. So you don't have to spend money on any of this. I mean, on PC is free as well. Nyom, 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 nyom. Wow. Actually, I have an idea. What if we take each one of these sections? What's 360 divided by 5? It's, uh... Shoot, what is it? I can't even think off the top of my head. That's how stupid I am. 360 divided by 5, 72. So if we make each one of these one group... I'll show you where I'm going with this. Make zero wings, negative uh, 45, 45. Okay, cool. Maybe it changed the rate up 0.25. So if I then, whoops, copy this six times and update our phase, we'll go zero, 72. 144. What's the next one? 144 plus 72 would be 216. I told you guys I dropped out of college. Oops. Plus the number 72. Anova, 288. So just to test this, uh, we'll do our ground row first. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. We can refine that a little bit. Yeah, after the stream is over, uh, we'll be spending a lot of time, or I will be spending a lot of time working on the Twitch stream, including like notifications and pop-ups and all that stuff. Stuff that we can't do on YouTube, really, because it's just not integrated. So that'll be fun. That'll be my little project for the day, and then answering some emails and, and Patreon questions. Wow, the YouTube stream is way behind the Twitch stream. It's crazy. Yeah, we've already got some custom emotes in the Discord, so. Yeah, the uh, the YouTube stream is like a 30 second delay. It's the same as using blocks for now, but I'm going to eventually change it. I can get more customized with this. So let's see, what can we do now? Oops.
might just scrap it and do a normal effect. Yeah, I like the crew that I'm working with. Um, get a couple of couple of artists that I work with right now, and I'm happy with where everything is sitting. Yeah, I don't like this. Maybe we'll do hmm. again. Ninety percent of this is just experimentation and messing things up and picking new selection orders. It's not my Discord server, it's just a a fan server that someone set up. I don't I don't operate it. I just pop in there every once and again and, and say what's up. Okay, I kinda like this. I think it's cool how they kind of scroll past in the middle. Hey Matt, thanks for the kind words, appreciate it. So this build section, or this remark section, I need to, this drum fill needs to 
<laughs> Where is that effect? Okay, now I got a good idea for the color wipes on this one. So if I wipe them to white, how frequently do I do these live streams? There's a link down below to my website where you can see the full schedule. It's pretty much every other day. Make sure to hit subscribe or follow over on Twitch. Is that track player in Capture? No, that's in Reaper. So that's over on my my Razer. It's a little laptop that's sitting next to me. So I just hit the space bar and it plays. So we'll do another set of wipes drop two. So I kind of want to do the same thing, but have the lights maybe flip to white right before they turn off. So if I um, if I call Q1, store it, call Q2. Oh, whoops, hang on. Um, call Q1. Store it. Call Q2 from that same one. Store it. And then change our timing so that it's zero time and point four. Okay. should do the same thing and it does what do I think about the ma.3 wow is that a new one did that just get released a few minutes ago <laughs> okay so I like that I'm gonna do the same thing uh, call that Q from here Store it, merge, uh, we'll do call Q2, 
that same queue, create second queue. And it's important to remember to change your timings to match. Change the trigger time to time, which means that that next queue will fire at a certain time after you fire the queue before it, regardless of time code. And now there's a reason that um, the JDCs aren't showing up on this time, on this edition. <laughs> and that is because um, the priority of bitmaps is such that it is always one below whatever the value is. So if I want the JDCs to show back up, I have to remove them, or remove the dimmer at least, because um, that's what's being affected by the bitmap. I need to remove that from excuse me, release it from, because uh, there's a difference between remove and release. <laughs> remove will remove any values from that queue, and then anything before that will continue to track. Release stops the tracking. So it will pretend everything after that will be as if the and nothing tracked before it was ever stored there. Um, so if we go... here I believe yeah except there's something messed up with our bitmap let's figure it out so if I go bitmaps select our dim bitmap Here's the thing. It should be starting at negative 45. But it's not. Is there a reason? Let's investigate. Restart first queue. That's what it is. The one thing that I was going to tell you guys to check, <laughs> undo the storing there, is to, even if you copy queues, the, it might, the, the whole executor might not behave the same because your playback settings might have been changed from your default, which is what I do in queues like these. All right? So now if we go back into the drop, it works appropriately. Yeah, like I said, I don't know how Discord works. I don't know anything about it. One thing I would like... I may turn the low value to a release value. So that I can continue to like bounce them in the middle. Break needs to come just a little tiny bit sooner. Like two frames. Oh, just kidding.
Ah, that's where I messed up. There's still something funky going on. Why is that on? Did I like forget to update that one or something? I do anything with this? I'm really not sure. I can always add it. Add a little more later. <laughs> By the way, we're changing the color of those LEDs. By the way. Yeah, I think, uh, are you the one that time codes all the video as well? Depends. Um, right now I'll be time coding the video for this, like, demo version. And it'll be, um, it'll be Resolume Clips and not, like, a time-coded Premiere project or anything like that.
yeah, the NSP that I have um, is like crazy, crazy clean. I had one before that I sold to Jason, and then I ended up on the hunt for another one, like maybe six months later, because I had some extra cash, and it was nice to just have some parameters at home. This needs to be, uh, this needs to be sussed, or needs to be judged, as my girlfriend would say. This needs to be judged. So I'll add a second queue, and I'm gonna make the trigger a time for like 0.4, and then add like a 0.2 fate. Now I'll do like 0.2 and 0.2, I think, because it like slows down at the end and then like rises up, rise up, gamers. So we're just going to zhuzh it a little. Restart first, remember that. <laughs> Whoopsies. So maybe just a slight bit faster, like 0.16. Point one two. Um, wait, where did I store that? Why would it stay on? I don't understand. Okay, MA stomp. It should turn off. Point two five, and then we'll add a path to that, a low high path. Low high path, low high path. Yeah, Europe gang generally has the uh, the highest stream numbers. This is usually the, the biggest stream day. Mainly because most of my viewership is there. Which is kind of cool. That's pretty good. I'm going to do something cheeky. Let's do, um, let's do a dimmer delay on the drop. <laughs> or is it already? I can't tell. Oh, wait, no, it's not. Do you have to resync your time code afterwards at the venue because the sound gets time to travel to your ears, so it might be delayed? Yes. It's usually uh, less than you would think, maybe only a couple frames. 
because the thing with the um, all the the moving lights and the the processing that has to happen with the DMX there is a couple of frames that it is delayed anyways at least that's how it feels like there's always a slight delay anyway so it kind of just adds to it but if I want to do that you can there's a couple ways to do it I was an idiot in the last stream and said you couldn't do it internally in MA and you can't go backwards but you can go you can add offsets to each of the time code pools Okay, uh, what was I going to do? 0 through point 0.2, I think. I really wish there were, like, delay pools. So I don't have to do it this way. Although, technically... Ugh. These are the stupid decisions I have to make while programming. Is like, which way do I want the lights to wipe on? Because I know in this first queue, it wipes away. So I kind of want it to wipe on the other way, which means that my delay has to start from the other side. I might want to add an off time to this version only. See how it looks. Oh, here, okay. <laughs> uh, this is, okay. Oop, sorry. I mean to smack you. Uh, one of the most annoying things about um, about MA timecode is the fact that if you add an off time to an executor, or a sequence, excuse me, later, um, like after you time code the button presses they won't they won't apply okay so if i'm in this and i play back manually it works and you can see the uh the fade away which uh should be able to see here yeah, it fades out. When it's played back through time code, I won't do that because I recorded those button presses before I added. Before I added that. Oh, oh I forgot about my coffee. Holy cow. It's been sitting there like for almost two hours now. Over two hours. So, you know what that means? Let's drink water o'clock. So for all of the uh all the people in the chat who have been here before, do you prefer the ambient mic in addition to the headset mic? This guy? I just kind of set him on a pretty low setting. He's at like a 
a third the volume of the rest of the room. But he doesn't pick up my voice, or he shouldn't by a whole lot, just the very low end. Yeah, that's moonshine. This is pure uh, vodka. Water the flowers. I'm going to refresh my YouTube studio because it looks like we're... It shows me as way behind. You like how it is? Yeah. It's tough because this is a very loud environment. Like the just the... the the signal to noise ratio with the the floor where it is the noise floor where it is it's um it's tough to get it to sound good it's crazy wow twitch has like no delay you won't read the twitch chat i'm reading the twitch chat right now And I, as I said before, my whole project this afternoon is working on Twitch and getting it dialed in. That's like literally all I'm going to do today after we finish the stream here. Is make, uh, make overlays and all that stuff. I don't need overlays right now because I have allegedly someone else already working on it, but they've kind of ghosted me. So I'm gonna hit him up after the stream, and if uh, that doesn't work, then I guess we'll explore other options. Kind of annoyed. Yeah, the Twitch delay, there's literally only maybe five seconds, and that's with from me saying it to me seeing it on the screen. It's crazy. So I have to go and re-record all of these wipes. <laughs> Fucking s so stupid. Uh, but it looks like, no, oh, I can just easily go, boop. My internet upload speed is 50 megabits per second. It's a lot. And it's steady. Like 10 millisecond ping. Do I do any Insomniac live streams? No. So here's something fun you can do too. During this break section, um, I'm first gonna store 42 or Q42, make it Q only, so that when the when the drop resumes, it comes back. 
Tim Key Clinker, I haven't had the time to watch your streams, but I'm getting a full size MA for free from a rental company for two weeks. So guess who's gonna watch all like twelve hours of your stream? Well, thank you. Hope you have fun with the console and uh, let's see what you can do with it. Make sure you use your time wisely. I would probably not sleep at all. Just kidding. Sleep gang, water gang. So my idea here is uh, on these break sections, the lights are going to reverse position. So like every like phrase has a different direction. I've done this on a couple other Zomboy songs, but um, it suits, suits really well here too anyways. So beam reverse, PT. Ba, 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 ba. And then I want to not do Q only on this version because I want it to continue. next spot where we need to move in black the beams. It's going to be right there. No wait, it's not going to be there. So this filter up, group two, um, we'll stomp, position, and dimmer, store 46. Thanks, Noah, the light for the follow on Twitch. Best Danny 90. Guy with a dash of, gay with a dash of love. Welcome. Thank you for following. Harper Miles, 1772. Thank you, guys. Thank you, girls. Thank you, everybody in between. I know you guys are going to hate me. We're going to reverse it again. <laughs> oh, that's so silly. So 
it's anti-clockwise. So you need to go to zero there. Do something fun with the I can do something better. The one thing I still, I should actually learn how to do this today is how to usefully use circular copy. It's like the one thing I have never used on this desk. One of the few things I've not used on this desk. How much can you make from one show as an LD? The huge range, it depends. If you're doing like club shows, then you're probably gonna be making a couple hundred bucks a night, 200, 300 bucks a night. If you're doing big festivals as like house LD, you get like 600 to 750 a day, uh, but you're working the full day. Like make no mistake, you're making you're working the full day, and then you know top tier you can make over a thousand a day. That's for like corporate stuff. So for the wah wah part. I'll do full ultra wide white. Nah. those two. So just those two moments. We're going to go for another 30 minutes trying to stick to a schedule. And then uh, tomorrow we will finish this whole thing off with um, we'll finish the whole thing off tomorrow with like camera movements and resolume. So I'll spend a little bit of time after the stream getting that ready and getting overlays, all that kind of stuff. Maybe we'll do some stinger transitions too. Yeah, if you're running multiple departments, if you're doing video, lighting, you can charge more obviously. Not a full extra day rate more, in my experience, but you can definitely get at least half of the extra day rates. I mean, you could get double the day rate, because think about it, you know, whoever's hiring you, they only have to pay for one person to, you know, travel and eat for that whole time, too. So you're really saving them money. So 
the weird little like artifacts that I'm kind of annoyed by um, during these wipe sections. The JDCs fade back a little bit because I mean it's it's how I programmed it, so I kind of messed that part up. So I might actually just take off the the off time. it again. Oh, if I actually hit record. That would have been even worse. Don't you get tired of the music? Yeah. <laughs> I have to listen to this song like a hundred times in a row. Of course I get tired of it. <laughs> it's just the job though. You have to listen to it. How else am I going to do it? Let me put it this way. How long do you think the artist listens to every one of these songs when they're making it? Like they're listening to this thousands of times. So I can put up with a couple hundred if they can put up with thousands. It's time for a new track. Okay, uh, you can tune in next week where we'll be doing a different track. But I need to finish this one. So there's that like really big hit. Can I listen to the song after programming? Yeah, it's fine. I don't get like actually annoyed by it. And yeah, I'm going into a little more detail than I normally would on a song just because it's previs, I want to post it. So it needs to be perfect for everybody who's going to nitpick the shit out of it. And um, I have the time. <laughs> um, guys, just as a reminder, if I don't answer your question, it's not because I either don't see it or I don't want to answer it. It's usually because I've already answered it in either this video or another video, and I don't want to spend more time than necessary. That's it. So if I want this to wipe to white before it actually goes, I have to change my delays. <laughs> 
So we'd have to do our dimmers to point 0.1 through point 0.3. Again, because you can't really go back in time. You can only add offset on the end of it. Yeah, the pan tilt does change each time, but not with the wipes. You can't, the lights don't move fast enough for them to reposition between every hit. You could, like, if you did it while the wipe was happening and then, like, release the position or, like, move the position to it, like, there's some ways to do it, but that would be hours. And I don't want to spend hours right now. Oh, whoops, that's supposed to be Q2. Almost messed that up. Cool, so that still works. Do the same with our delay on this side. Thanks for the vector work stream last night, Dan. It's funny, I um <laughs> everything was working last night and like everything was going great, and then I like opened a different project version or whatever, and all the stuff that I thought I figured out was like no longer working. It's so silly. It's like the most frustrating thing ever. Okay, so now we can go to color and we can store this as white. Look, I get the same questions about how do I get involved in the event industry, what software are you using, all that stuff. So tonight, tonight after the stream, I'm taking my whole day to create a frequently asked questions thing for Twitch, a whole schedule thing, everything's going to be posted on Twitch. So I'm sorry if I don't answer your question right now, but people would I would rather that people see what I'm I'm doing live and you can check out the other streams if you want to see. I'm sorry. It's no hard feelings. But yeah, in my my 130th video at minute mark 18 and 16 seconds I talk about how to get into the event industry. It's easy. Okay. Did you know you can save 5%? I thought it was 15% or more on your car insurance. Reminds me I've got to pay my registration bill the car that I don't drive because we can't go anywhere because we're not allowed to go anywhere. Yeah, people will always ask those questions. There's no, you know, there's really no point. No. Wow. It's almost not even noticeable. But it is, I think, just barely enough. Enough for me to, like, flex it. Be like, oh, did you notice that part where, like, right before they turned off, they went to white? Did you notice that? Hello from Vietnam. Hi.
<laughs> Where are you from? What should we do with this with the vipers? I think I know. Um, so first I'm gonna highlight just so we can see what they're doing. Why does my Chave Obey look like that? That's funny. Can't forget to add Gobo Shake. Don't let anybody for let me forget. Don't let me forget to add Gobo Shake. It doesn't visualize, but it needs to be in there. Of course. Um, Same thing with the fast rotation. Hi, Rush friend. Wow, we've been staying at a consistent 270 on YouTube, and then what's our Twitch numbers? I can't even... Are we even live on Twitch? <laughs> it doesn't even say how many on Twitch. Weird. 69? Nice. 64. Oh, shit. Dropping like flies. Love from India? Oh, thank you. Much love to you as well.
Uh, that's the thing about having so many different fixture types in a time code show and like having enough to use it on any stage. Tried to time him out too. Yeah, it, um, slow down part, the gobos are like slowing down. three sound. Don't let me forget to add Gobo Shake. <laughs> Alright, we're going to go for about 15 or 20 more minutes then. Like I said, I'm going to work off stream all day working on improving everything. Because you guys have been real supportive and I appreciate it. So I want to make it better. And then we're getting into the really cool part of the track. This I can't wait to do. Can't wait to do this part. That's gonna be like a hundred cues right there. <laughs> What's the worst accident that happened on a show? I don't know. We had a forklift fall into a, a trough once. <laughs> That's about it. Everyone's pretty safe. Sweet mic up close, that's right. So you guys can't hear my lips moving. And you just hear my voice. So for that, like, boom, I want to have, like, a, a sweep of the LEDs. Downward. Downward, downward, downward. I could do this with a... I could do this with... Hmm. I could do this with just a delay. So that's zero seconds. This would be like point zero five. I'll do point one. It's actually kind of a lot of delay. Maybe it's too much. This is why I wish there were... Yeah, see, it's too much delay. I might instead take the delay away, remove it, and 
instead. Yeah, there was a there was a huge accident at the uh, state fair in. I can't remember. Some pretty it was basically a, a tornado, very high wind. Made a, a fairgrounds festival stage collapse. It was probably that's probably one of the worst accidents in stage history. There's been a few recently where no one got injured, but like massive LEDs LED walls have fallen. Sketchy. My God. So I want this to like swell up, and then maybe evaporate away like with the ring effect. So here's the thing, if I store a dimmer value of like 15% as Q.5, it'll insert one below. Whoops. <laughs> if I hit the right Q, store Q.5 and then click the Q. Assign restart first. So it's going to go here, and then I change my trigger time to follow. And then that queues at 100. But there's no difference, right? This is effectively the same thing as just creating one queue. But now I can control the second part. This is kind of like what recipes does in MA3. Or not recipes, but um, different steps. Oh yeah, Coachella. There was, uh, let's see, yeah, last year, one of the um, did LED tiles fall? I thought it was just um, some like scenic ball thing. It's pretty crazy. So now, if I add a path to this, which is essentially what the new keyframing, <laughs> keyframing, it's an AVO term. But that's what the um, the steps in uh, MA3 are going to be like. Just basically paths and cue parts. Quarter of the stage fell down. Thank you, Kegas, Daft Guy, Nebhe, Visual Tribe, El Capitano for the follows on Twitch. Again, if you're watching on YouTube, you can stay on YouTube. We're going to continue to stream on YouTube for as long as I'm streaming these events. Uh, but we will be shifting more over towards Twitch as far as interactivity. So if you want to, uh, you know, get emotes, uh, we'll, we'll set up a bunch of stuff. Be a grand old time. And then I'll store another queue, and this will be ring out. So this is going to be hmm. I'll just do it like this. We'll just do it with delays. I don't want to do it with a bitmap and like mix bitmaps in with the values. Yeah, Twitch is gonna be the place to be. It's gonna be lit. I think the the good thing about Twitch is a lot more random people stop by too for the live streams. Or they they will eventually once we get everything rolling. I'm not trying to get Twitch famous or anything, but I think more people will will see everything. forgot to store a value. Can't delay non-values.
If time code runs backwards or slows down, can the scale reverse effect time movement speed direction? Um, not just by listening to the time code. The time code, like uh, Sunstorm says, it just triggers events. But I have another piece of software called Show Control that monitors the speed of their track, and it changes the speed of the the speed masters. So effects will follow, except for the ones where I don't put them assigned to that Speedmaster. So the movement effects are not linked to the Speedmaster, but things like dimmer hits that need to be right on time, those are. by how low the twitch delay is. All right, a few more minutes, then we'll wrap things up here, and I will continue working, and then maybe do a test stream later this evening on Twitch only. Besides Vipers, what other fixtures are in their capture rig? Uh, we've got some Axioms, JDC1s, uh, Color 472s, Quantum Washes, some random stuff, you know pretty standard things that you would see anywhere. Things with low DMX channel counts <laughs> so that I can visualize a lot of them in capture. Low parameter counts, excuse me. <clears throat> One other thing I want to do is add a top bottom um, effect with the strobes. So if I do blocks of uh, 16 in this effect, I want to have them like slowly step up in their difference between high and low. So if you remember from the other stream, we can do that just like you would in any, any other part of the queue list. And this one we do want to slave to that Speedmaster. And then we can also double the rate as well in that queue list. Jacob Grossel, thank you for the follow on Twitch. It's the other thing, like, there's no real way for me to see who's really interacting except for chat on YouTube. So, yeah, I think Twitch is going to be the way for interactivity. Um, why did I do tilt on here? This is supposed to be dimmer. So we can start off at something like um, 20, 20. Thanks for tuning in, Brian. Glad to hear you're enjoying the streams. They've been fun to make. Um, PWM is like my favorite form just because you can do all of the attack and decay stuff with it. Yeah, the whole the the goal right now is to like this point underneath my head or like the I'll move the camera down in this layout and then we can have a, a feed because that's like the only strip of this that I don't really need and then the layout the layout layover will have like some follow stuff down here too. And then like nice little frames like oh, this is capture this welcome to capture this is ma we kind of like that so we'll go blocks of 16. now this should yeah that's what i intended And then 
for our dimmer, we'll add, we'll double the speed to 150. Which technically, let me try something here. Technically, this won't uh, follow along with the Speedmaster, I don't think. If I just type in a hard value here. And then I want to increase just the high value of the dimmer. So link single, high value. In this section, we can see down in screen two. If I'm in that queue from where, or if I'm in this sequence from when that queue starts, The high value is 20, and I want it to increase over the course of this whole duration. So I'm going to set this to 100. And we can see our brightness increases over on capture. I just use JDC ones because they're very common. They're a little blocky for my taste. I like longer like strips. Like the JDC line, is that what they came out with? It's funny, I emailed like um, one of the people from G from uh, German Light Products just like kind of randomly out of the blue emailed me and they're like, hey, nice videos, thanks for doing everything you do. And I was like, oh, thanks. And they, one of their um, questions was, is there any product that we haven't come up with? <laughs> that you'd really like. And I was like, yeah, like a JDC, but like just the center strip or like just a strip of JDC thin. So, and then they announced it like a couple of days later. It's <laughs> like, God, <laughs> never mind. Yeah, if you want to if you want to make overlays, I can't promise that they'll be used because I have someone already working on some, but they haven't really gotten back to me. If you make something really badass and it's better than theirs, then I'll use it, but I do have someone contracted. But like I said, they've been kind of flaky lately. Um, increase strobe rate. And this I'm going to have it fade up. Fade up. I think it's working the way it should, but I'm not certain. It looks like it's working. Did they gift it to me too? No, they did not. One thing I haven't done yet on this section is the color forces in the background. And I think I want to do kind of like a um, triple block follow, not mirrored though, and then have it follow along with the direction. <laughs> this video brought to you by JDC, yeah. What a world that would be. So we'll do blocks of 12 here. Or sorry, blocks of uh, eight, maybe? 
No groups. All right, three groups. And then a width of... PWM. Like I said, I like um, not going all the way to zero with some of these dimmer effects. <laughs> not watching actively anymore, yeah. Actually, I'm going to change this a little bit. We'll do blocks of 12 so the whole fixture lights up. That way when we go to clone, there won't be any weird artifacts. because this is a, not a symmetrical part of the song, that's why. Where did I put that little, oh there it is.
Did I forget to reverse this? <laughs> I think I did. Uh, well, guys, we've been streaming for three and a half. Should we just uh, see where we're at? And then we'll do a water, one last water gang, and then uh, move on. Maybe not. Need to add that little like filtered up part. We still gotta add video. Yeah, so that's basically it for now. Um, I'm going to continue to work on this today. And tomorrow, for the other half of the world, I know everybody gets all mad that we have two different time streams, but we do have two halves of the world to deal with. Um, so tomorrow, the stream, the schedule is down below in the description of both, uh, both Twitch and YouTube. Feel free to watch on either platform, but I'm no longer going to be publishing, um, I'm no longer going to be publishing the stream immediately from YouTube it's going to be uploaded as a video later so that people get notified about it. So other than that, um, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to hang out in the chat rooms of both Twitch and uh, YouTube for a few minutes here. We'll do one last little water gang here. And yeah, I'm um, hoping to have this wrapped up by tomorrow and we can do a full rendering export and upload the video to YouTube. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. I'll be working on the stream all night tonight and we'll make it better for tomorrow. So hopefully you'll see some improvements tomorrow. And yeah, thanks for tuning in. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.